Hi, I'm Steve Newman and this is Intection. Today, I'm going to set up a Raspberry Pi W just using Wi-Fi only. So what do you need? A Raspberry Pi Zero W, a micro SD card, a USB cable to power, a USB stem, optional of course, a computer and a Wi-Fi network connected to the internet. So here are the steps. First, we're going to download the Etcher app. We're going to download the latest Raspberry Pi Zero OS. That's Raspberry and the light version. We'll burn the OS to the SD card with Etcher. We'll set up the Wi-Fi and SSH just using a couple of files which were right on the SD card. We'll reboot the, uh, the Raspberry Pi and find its IP address. Connect to the Pi via SSH. Set the Pi up using its Raspberry Pi config program and expand the file system, update it, and then change the root password away from that standard one. Okay, let's start with steps one and two. Let's download the app Etcher and then download the latest Raspberry Pi OS. So first of all, we need to go to the Etcher website. I'll put the link in the comments and download Etcher. There's versions for all OSs. Then you need to go to the Raspberry Pi uh, website and download Raspberry and Stretch the Lite version. Then what we're going to do is we're going to burn the OS to the SD card with Etcher, then set up the Wi-Fi and SSH with by changing some files. So let's get cracking. So first of all, make sure you uh, download your Etcher and install it, which you've done. And then what you need to do is select your image that you've got for Raspberry, Raspberry and which you can do by dragging that onto the Etcher app. Uh, it will automatically pick your SD card that you've put in your computer, but you can change that in the middle. Just make sure that you have, you're definitely writing to your SD card. So there's mine here, because uh, you don't want to destroy anything else on your computer. And then basically just press the, um, flash button so there we go so we click that and now what will happen is the system will flash all the way uh, flash the OS onto the SD card now unfortunately it can be quite slow so I speeded this up so please don't expect yours to work as fast as this once it's flashed it will then go ahead and verify the image so that's the next thing So the next thing we need to do is to create these files that tell the system to start up an SSH session and then later on we'll set up the Wi-Fi details. So first of all we'll we open a terminal session at the root of the drive and you can see with, with PWD that means print working directory and you can see we're at volumes boot. So now using the Linux command uh, touch and the name of a file uh, with no extension we create it will create an empty file. So let's just go and check that that's there. So we created touch SSH. We now do an LS, which is listing the, uh, the directory. And you can now see the SSH file is there. Literally, it's an empty file. And in Windows, obviously, you can create one by uh, in Notepad with no extension. OK, so um, remember, uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a file uh, which enables us to uh, put all of the Wi-Fi settings in it. So it's WPA, so it's, so it's touch, WPA underscore supplicant dot conf. And again, that's an empty file. And then if we uh, just quickly look for that file, you can see the file is there. Now you need to edit that file with your favorite editor and add the following into it. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but make sure your country code is correct. And then make sure that you've put your SSD and your pre-shared key in the file and then save it. Now we will need to find the IP address of your Pi on the router, connect to it via SSH, expand the file system, and then we're going to upgrade the Pi to the latest version 
and then change the root password. So the first thing you need to do is start up your Pi. And once your Pi is started up, then go to your router, uh, follow the manufacturer's guide, and then you should be able to see over Wi-Fi that your Pi has successfully connected. Write down the IP address of your Pi. So in this case, it's 192.168.0.160. Yours will probably be different. Now your Pi is on your network, we're going to connect to it. So the way to do that is to use SSH in a terminal session with Pi at the IP address you found. So it's SSH Pi at 192.168.0.60. And then when you press enter, it will connect to your Pi and ask you to accept the keys. Type yes if it's the first time you've done this and use the, the password, which in this case is Raspberry. So that's been set. So now you're in your nice shiny Pi. So now what we need to do is we need to expand the file system. And there's a handy tool on the Pi, a script called a rasp hyphen config. Now you have to use sudo in front, so sudo rasp, as in R-A-S-P-I hyphen config. And you'll get, an, when you click enter, you'll get a nice screen. We need to go down to option seven, which is advanced options. And in there, there is an expand file system option. So that's A1, so select that. And then basically press enter on the resulting screen and then we need to go and select finish and then yes we do want to reboot it may take a while for your Raspberry Pi to restart so it's a good idea is to start a ping command and you'll be able to see when it's joined the network again so that's ping 192.168.0.160 or whatever IP that you use. Now on Windows, you go, you can select minus T and that will show a continuous P command, a ping command, but on OS X, in this case, you don't need that option and it will, it will carry on pinging. So you wait for it to come up, which in this case, as you can see the Pi has come up. So we're able to connect to it. So what we're gonna do now is use the history and SSH into the Pi as we did before and we're just waiting for the Pi to bring up, bring up its SSH session type in the password which is Raspberry and now we're in our nice shiny Pi so now what we need to do is we're going to update the Pi so it's got all the latest build now this can take a while so it's sudo app hyphen get update uh, which um, would have been good if I spelt sudo correctly so s-u-d-o is a good way of spelling sudo app hyphen get and then update so what that does is bring down a list of all the packages that can be updated which it's done that's the quick bit and now what we need to do is type the same command in again but change update to upgrade now this is the long one, this is the one that downloads everything uh, and it will take a long time. So I I have speeded this up, so once you click yes, it will race ahead and this is much faster than it will be uh, in real time. So once all the packages have been set up, the Raspberry Pi is nice and updated. So that's brilliant, so we're done there now. Let's just clear the screen so we can see. So now we're going to change the password from that default Raspberry using sudo ras with a pi on the end and then a hyphen config in the screen. Change select change user password and it, and then go OK and it will drop you out to a terminal session and then put the password in twice that you would like. So in this case, I'm just going to do that and we'll retype the password and we're all good and click OK click finish so that's how you set up a Raspberry Pi just by using Wi-Fi no need to connect to a computer so thank you for joining and please subscribe